One of the beautiful parts of music is the way that one single song or one band can impact you. There's no explanation on what goes on when you find that song that really sticks other than it feels good. There seems to be some sort of natural rating system in our body that subconsciously tells you, ooh, I like that, or ugh, turn that shit off. And it's funny how important it is as a musician to learn how to follow that feeling freely. Finding out a musician's taste in music is also a great way to gauge their personality and a great conversation starter. With that being said, I'm Kurt Berg. Let's get to know each other a little better. Today, I share with you the top 10 songs that played a big role in teaching me guitar. These songs are all in order from beginner to so hard I had to get an extra six strings for the last one. And of course, like all our videos, you can get tabs by becoming a patron in the description below. I'd love to hear yours in the comments below, and let's get into it. Every guitarist has to start off with that first open chord song they learn that they strum all day and night long. This is the best way to get your chords smooth. For me, that song was Wagon Wheel by Darius Rucker, a real feel-good song that just puts a smile on my face every time I play that first G chord. After I learned this, I went to play one of my first open mics in a bar. It was just me alone with my guitar on that stage. Pretty nerve-wracking. I started playing this song. The first chorus hit, and these two cute girls stood up and went to the stage and started dancing. It was a magical moment because it felt like the first time other people were just genuinely enjoying my music. I hope you can feel it too. After some chords, there's a step I wanted to take pretty much right away in my guitar journey. That step was the beautiful sound of fingerstyle guitar. And what a great way to start. A song with a fairly easy to play finger picking pattern and using all the basic open chords, yet sounding so beautiful. Next up, we have Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. This one isn't exactly fitting with the first two, but hey, everyone goes through different phases in their musical taste as well. For a while in my young teenage years and switching to the electric guitar, I became quite the metalhead. Now, although this isn't quite my style anymore, there's certainly still some great songs in the genre that have stuck with me as some of my all-time favorites. This one in particular is still one of my favorite songs, and playing on an acoustic I think might sound even better than the actual version. This was actually the first song I played with my high school band. They're from a town only 45 minutes from my house, and I've seen them in concert four times. Once in particular, I was in a show in a dive bar in Hamilton in the front row, just feet away from the band. In the most intense part of the song, the singer put his mic directly in my face, and I let out the best yell I've ever done. This is my favorite concert moment of all time. Here's My Heroine by Silverstein. style, I wanted to start getting into more complex finger patterns. This song was a great transition into a fast-paced fingerstyle classic that plays great around a campfire. The intro is awesome, the verse and the chorus are beautiful, and the bridge could be my favorite part of the song that I think a lot of people miss. It's also my mom's favorite song, which was a big influence on why I played this tune about five times more often than any in the list so far. Here's Dust in the Wind by Kansas.
Next up, we've got a beautiful sounding riff with some more advanced level techniques that I just had to learn. I remember hearing one of my friends who is quite the skilled guitar player already playing this song and thinking, this is Ed Sheeran? The slaps, the pull-offs, the hammer-ons, the muted strings, the unique melody. It turned out Ed Sheeran is actually quite the skilled guitarist, and to this day, this is still one of the best riffs around in my own humble opinion. This is I See Fire by Ed Sheeran. Switching up the vibe once again, and once again playing an electric guitar song on the acoustic. I know, I do that a lot. I don't know, I just, I just love this thing. We have a song that's great to rock out to and from one of my favorite bands growing up. It's not too difficult a song to play, but playing it like Johnny Frusciante himself is a whole nother story. I'm at least going to give it a shot. Here's Scar Tissue by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'll be honest, it was tough to put only one John Mayer song on this list, but there is no way this one wasn't making it. To me, it's the most beautiful song John's ever written and falls under the radar of some of his more popular songs. It was my first time experimenting with alternate tunings and I loved it from the second I heard this. Now that's beautiful. Here's In Your Atmosphere by John Mayer. Going back into my earlier days of musical taste, we've got another metal band playing a not-so-metal song, but still with the impressively fast guitar playing of a metal guitarist. It's played with a very common pop music chord progression of G, D, B minor, and C, but Sinister Gates does something magical with it. This is Dear God by Avenged Sevenfold. with guitar and the songs get more complicated, sometimes you want to take on a real project of a song. Now, although this one isn't necessarily that difficult to play, it can be quite overwhelming to remember and perfect, especially when you find the right tutorial and use your ear to play all the different variations the song has. 
Then after that, you mix in some of the mandolin that John Paul Jones plays and put in some of the second guitar parts in as well to create your own version of this beautiful, beautiful song. I'm very pleased to finally put Led Zeppelin on the list with going to California, what I wanted to do this winter. down on a Friday night and listen to a 12 minute long song that's entirely just one guy on his acoustic guitar? If your answer is, yeah, once, then you've probably seen the video of Oceans by John Butler. To this day, this is one of the most impressive guitar pieces ever written, and when I got the 12 string guitar, I just had to learn it. Well, at least a little bit of it. Here's me playing my favorite one minute long section of Oceans by John Butler. Enjoy. Good to go. 